Welcome to the Shreveport Connection with Tommy. This video is on Superstars and Smackdown this week. More spoilers. But first, some breaking news. Smackdown returns for a TV taping live November 27th, 2012 at CenturyLink Center in Bossier City, Louisiana. Okay, and some other news. Former WWE wrestler Sean Xbox Waltman commented on his status for the 1000th edition of Raw. Quote, for the record, I have not been approached by the 1000th Raw. As Waltman wrote, and he commented by saying, maybe you should ask them. Follow Waltman on Twitter at uh, twitter.com backslash the real Xbox. Surprise, Waltman hasn't been contacted since uh, we know Triple H and Shawn Michaels will be appearing as DX. Perhaps uh, WWE would prefer that the fans remember the two man version. Of course, they're still over a month away from the 1000th episode, so they may be, uh, be caught calling uh, him. They may be making, uh, giving him a ring before then, and he was on the very first Raw as well. Okay, also, uh, Road Dog Jesse James' was, uh, name was added to the alumni page on the WWE website. He could also be a part of the show as DX. Kelly Kelly has advertised for this week's Monday Night uh, Monday Raw Super Show television show as it takes place in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Kelly has advertised for several upcoming Raw TV shows, including the 1,000th episode. She has also advertised for the Money in the Bank pay-per-view event. This is noticeable because she ha has been on a hiatus from WWE while she has advertised for television events. She does not appear to be advertised for live events the entire month of July. And speaking of advertised li uh, live events, well, advertised dark match for tonight. tonight's SmackDown taping well, is John Cena versus Big Show and John Laronitis in a handicap match. Also, uh, there has been, uh, uh, been uh, an added, uh, added uh, night for John Laronitis. He must uh, uh, serve out his tenure with his uh, uh, one more event as he will face uh, John Cena again and, an, uh, and in another match at a later time. I believe it's uh, the same Fort Wayne, Indiana show for next week. But we'll see what happens. And that was uh, brought up by the board of directors from WWE. Triple H is once again advertised for a SmackDown taping this week. He, uh, he has appeared for the last two events in non-televised segments in which he simply shows up and pedigrees a heel. It's possible that he could appear on the actual taping now that he's back on Raw TV, but nothing has been advertised for Monday's show for next week. Paul the Butcher Vachon spoke with Omaha.com about his autobiography, Wrestling with the Past, Life in and Out of the Ring, and uh, th thanks to this update by John Tuve, a .NET reader. You can pull it up uh, uh, with the Omaha.com article about the autobiography uh, about wrestling. Wrestler, the late Bruiser Brody, aka Frank Goodish, would have been 66 on Monday. I did uh, mention that he would have uh, had, had his birthday as he was born June 18th and not the 16th. That was a correction from that, and that was uh, the year still 1946. He died on July 17th, 1988, when he was stabbed to death by Jose Gonzalez a.k.a. Invader Number 1, in a World Wrestling Council locker room in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. ECW icon Sandman, birthday uh, today, turned 49. His real name is James Fullington. He was born June 19, 
<coughs> the late Wahoo McDaniel, a.k.a. Ed McDaniel, was also born on this date in 1938. He died April 18, 2002, due to complications from diabetes and renal failure and was awaiting a transplant at the time of his death. ECW founder Todd Gordon turned 57 today. He was born June 19, 1955. According to an announcement from the Independent Production Fund in Canada, Chris Jericho will be getting his own web series soon. The IPF has approved funding for 15 scripted drama series, and a new show for Jericho is among those, called But I'm Chris Jericho, will be produced by Jericho and Shannon Farr. The writers are Bob Kerr, unknown relation, uh, Craig Brown, and Gary Rideout Jr. This isn't confirmed, but Jericho's new show looks to have 10 episodes at 4 minutes each. No word yet when But I'm Chris Jericho will premiere online. So I'm guessing it's just another WWE YouTube event. Uh, as noted before, WWE will be bringing back former general managers for Raw and SmackDown, while the board of directors finds permanent replacements. Some of the names that have been tossed around could be used for the role include Stone Cold Steve Austin, Vince McMahon himself, Stephanie McMahon herself, Jonathan Coachman, Mike Adamley, Bret Hart, Ricky Guerrero, <laughs> William Regal, and the anonymous general manager. Hey, why not throw Shane McMahon? Wasn't he a GM at one time? WWE crews uh, driving from New York to Baltimore for tonight's SmackDown tapings ran into major traffic problems on the New Jersey Turnpike. Natalia wrote that it took her uh, six hours to make the trip. A lot of talents didn't arrive uh, in, uh, to Baltimore until around 5 a.m. local time. And uh, what happened after Raw last night? Big Show came out to beat up John Cena. Cena countered with an attitude adjustment. So, uh, then Big Show shifted to his attention to John Laronitis. He slapped him on the chest a few times. Zack Ryder came out and drug Laronitis back into the ring where he hit the broski boot. Triple H comes out to join in in the melee, hitting Johnny with, with a pedigree. After all the attacks, uh, Laronitis made his way back up the ramp and was kicked by Vince McMahon himself. To send, a home, uh, send home the fans... Happy. And now, what everybody's been waiting for? Superstars and the dark match results prior to SmackDown and also after SmackDown, the, main, the dark match main event. Thanks to Danny Mays as the taping was in Baltimore, Maryland and passed along the results for the Superstar taping. Of course, from Raw, Raw, you got first match, Damian Sandow defeated Percy Watson. Match number two, Sankara defeated Antonio Cesaro, so, yeah, Cesaro by count out. And, okay, well, that, okay, that was, dark, that was SmackDown version. Now for Raw, and that uh, was, uh, thanks, uh, Anthony Gasparino, who attended the Raw. Uniondale, New York, sent the following report for superstars from Monday. Justin Gabriel and Tyson Kidd defeated Kurt Hawkins and Tyler Rex. Justin and Kidd out to a good pop. Hawkins and Rex to some heat. But surprisingly, a little reaction, though, especially since Hawkins is from Queens. Hawkins and Gabriel started things off, but quickly Gabriel got trapped. Uh, they were able to work out... Work it out and uh, hit a cool spot where a kid standing on the apron and Gabriel diving through his legs. The match ended with Justin and Tyson hitting a finisher from the top rope to win in about six minutes. Match number two, Zack Ryder defeated Drew McIntyre. Zack entered to a, ma uh, to a massive cheers. His dad was sitting in the first row at ringside. Drew McIntyre actually entered, the, entered to a loud amount of boos considering how they've used him. Ryder won with a top rope rough rider at about 10 minutes, 
10 minutes in, into the match. And there was also a former diva in the crowd in the front row uh, at ringside on Raw. None other than Medusa from WCW, who formerly uh, uh, went under the name of Alundra Blaze in WWE, or actually WWF back then. And she took her belt over to WCW and was the one that dumped it in a trash can. Okay. And the SmackDown version for superstars. Hunico defeated Ezekiel Jackson. All right, now for SmackDown. Teddy Long opened the show celebrating the termination of John Laronitis, supposedly. Big Show interrupted and said that he doesn't care about Laronitis getting fired or anyone else. He announced that he is entering the Money in the Bank match. Brodus Clay came out and they brawled. David and Tonka interfered. Big Show laid Brodus out with a punch. A Tonka danced to Clay's music. Okay. Match number one. Ryback de defeated Brian Hardy and BLKGs. Or Black G's, I guess. Didn't catch uh, their WWE given names. So I guess, uh, I guess the uh, fan in attendance knew the, the local guys, the local talent, easy fair guys unknown. Match number two, Alberto Del Rio defeated Christian by submission in a non-title match. Cody Rhodes came out post-match and attacked Christian. Sheamus versus Ziggler and, and Brian versus Kane was announced for later in the show. Kane defeated Daniel Bryan and AJ was a timekeeper for the match. She rang the bell while Brian had Kane in the, in the Borgasm lock. Even though Kane never tapped, the referee waved it off, and then Kane won with a chokeslam. Wonder how that's going to be played off on SmackDown. Okay. Mick Foley can't, comes out and stumbled over his opening line. He had to do a, a, a retake, a retake two, before getting the cheap pop. He Slater interrupted. Foley put him in a match with Zack Ryder, who got a big pop. Zack Ryder defeated Heath Slater. Ryder won with a very quick, quick match with a roll-up. Foley and Ryder were celebrating backstage. They walked past Damian Sandow, who insulted Ryder, and then walked off. Match number five, the primetime players with AEW, Abraham Washington, defeated the Uso brothers. Primetime players were celebrating backstage when Primo clocked AEW with the right hand. Primo and Epico brawled with the primetime players. Santino Marella comes out and did a, a sign segment that was presumably just for the house. He pulled a, a fan out of the crowd who had an I love Santino sign and she, she laid a huge kiss on him and knocked him out. Okay, Jack Swagger comes out and complained about not being in the show and ran down Dolph Ziggler. Triple H came out to the biggest pop of the night and laid him out with the pedigree. This is obviously a house-only segment again. Maybe the Santino segment will air on SmackDown after all. Just see how to, well, just see how, to, how it plays out on the show. Uh, Mick Foley announces the Dark main event will be Big Show and David Otonka versus John Cena. Well, that was already advertised. Match number six for SmackDown World Heavyweight Champion Sheamus defeated Dolph Ziggler. Sheamus won with a road kick. There, there were lots of dueling. Let's go Sheamus. Let's go Ziggler chance. Both men were way over. Uh, it's a very physical match. And the reporter says the attendance was about 5,000. People, there were several section tarp, uh, tarped off, but the crowd was very vocal all night. And your main event, Dark Match, because uh, that uh, ended your SmackDown right there. Dark Match uh, main event, John Cena defeated Big Show and David Otonga in a handicap match. Cena had, had his left wrist and hand taped and looked to be favoring it during the match. After Cena's win, John Laronitis came to the ring with a chair and hit Cena with it. Cena made a comeback and hit the attitude adjustment to send everyone home, everyone home happy. And that ends my 
report for SmackDown and Superstars for this week. This week. So y'all have a uh, have a nice day. God bless. Peace out. Sayonara. Aloha. All that good jazz. But anyways, uh, y'all have fun and watch my videos next week. Stay tuned. Same Shreveport time. Same Shreveport channel. Shreveport Connection. Out.